Uh, hi, this is Peter from Simon Listens, and I just want to show you our new Simon client, which is called Simone, uh, which stands for Simon Embedded, and which is going to run on this uh, Migo device, the Nokia N950, which Nokia has kindly lent to us for this purpose. So what you see in this notebook is a standard Simon installation, um, actually the current development version. Uh, and there's no trickery involved, there's no microphone activated, so if I say, for example, show places, nothing actually happens. And that's because I want to demonstrate that this Nokia device can act as a remote microphone. So if I select connect here, uh, we will connect here to this uh, notebook and there's actually voice deep detection. You can see uh, it says listening when I'm talking and please speak when I'm not. So let's see if it works. Start browser. Yeah, show places. One. Okay, I didn't actually set up anything useful here, so just to show this part works. And as an added bonus, which this is already quite nice in my opinion, but um, the microphone is actually quite good by the way, so if you don't have a microphone, an external microphone, um, this will likely be better than your integrated microphone of your notebook. But anyway, uh, this isn't just for controlling your summer installation on your notebook or your television or whatever. You can also control the phone a bit. So if you go into the settings here. Of course with this being a Simon product, you can configure it in many different ways. So if we open the settings page here, you can see there are a lot of options to choose from. Uh, first of all, there's an option to use a public recognition server, which we intend to provide. So in the future, you can just um, download the app, connect to our server, which is going to be the default, and start using it right away. But for now, I'm connecting to the assignment on my notebook, which is configured here. Um, there's also a configurable voice activity detection, which has the same options as the desktop uh, version uh, you get with Simon. And you can also turn it off altogether, which um, would be, and then you will get a button saying press this button to speak and release it to start the recognition. Uh, in the actions tab, you can see that we can actually not only control a Simon uh, client running on another machine, but we can also control the phone a little bit. So um, we can, for example, do voice dialing and um, voice navigation. So we can, for example, um, start the navigation in the car to a previously set destination without touching the phone. So, um, as you can see, we can change the triggers for all of these actions, of course, and um, it's actually more user-friendly than you might think on the first glance. So, if you actually use it, it's quite nice already. Of course, you can also turn the voice control off altogether. So, let's try now. Start styling. Two. Back. Stars navigation. Two. Stop navigation. Back. Yeah, that's it for now, and all of this and more will be available in the next version of Simon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.